I'm Denise Johns, and welcome to today's Wednesday Word. I want to take these few moments to talk to you about two words, happiness and joy. For many years, I used these words interchangeably. I was happy. I was joyful. They meant the same thing to me. Maybe you have confused the words happiness and joy. What I've come to find out throughout my life experience is that happiness is really an outward expression. It can be the simple smile on your face. Uh, how I would describe things that made me happy would be my son scored a touchdown in football. My daughter performed well at the dance recital. My son got all A's in college. I loved that chocolate bar and it made me happy. I was so glad to see my friends. As you can tell, my happiness was basically everything that everyone else was doing, and it had very little to do with my inner world. Uh, joy is a much more an inner feeling within our hearts. Um, happiness is usually expressed on our face by a smile, like I said. Um, and it's usually based upon other people's behaviors or um, places that we might venture. The best way in which I feel that happiness was described to me was happiness was a little butterfly that landed upon your shoulder and stayed there for a little while and then fluttered away. And we'd wait until the next butterfly came to land on our shoulder before we were happy again. However, joy um, is described very differently. Joy is a practice. It's a, it's a behavior that is deliberate and intentional. And I believe to find true joy in the world that we need Jesus' help. Um, joy is a sacrifice. Um, when I think it's, we become truly most joyful when we think of other people um, other than ourselves. We can generate joy from Jesus. Um, in Psalm 46, 10, uh, the words are, be still and know that I am God. I think this is a great place to start on how to be joyful is know God. We really have to know God. And in order to truly know God, we need to pull out that Bible and look at it every day. Um, the ability to have our heart smile in the midst of great personal difficulties when everything around us is out of control and we learn still to be joyful, this is what Jesus can do for us. And this is far more sustainable um, with Jesus' help. Um, God can restore that joy to your heart even when you're facing the death of a loved one even when you're facing an illness, even when you're facing difficult situations with your child, you can still feel joy if you allow Jesus to help you. Um, Psalm 51, 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing heart to sustain me. I think that's what we need is we need to know the difference that joy is given to us by Jesus and we are able to pursue that and it's felt deep within our heart it's not because of the external things that are happening in our life but it is that the internal things that are happening within us each and every day we are given a brand new opportunity to pursue the joy of jesus i would ask you what causes you to have joy and if you don't have an answer to this it's really okay um, because God does give us a new opportunity each and every day to sustain that great joy. Um, what I would say is get out your Bible. There are over a hundred Bible scriptures that contain the word joy. Start on those. Start to read through those. Become more familiar with God's word and how you can obtain joy. Joy really comes from trusting God in the midst of all the different circumstances each one of us are facing. Ecclesiastes 2, 26 says, God gives us wisdom and knowledge and joy to all those who please and seek him. It reminds me of a, a childhood 
song that I loved. Uh, Dwight would probably like it if I sang, but I don't think that would bring happiness to anyone, So, nor joy. So the words are, I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart. And that's exactly the type of joy that I hope that you begin pursuing if you are not already pursuing it. May the peace of God always be with you. Amen.